Hello YouTube and welcome to a brand new video on my channel. This is at the start of a new season, a new series, which will be Ultimate Team. As if you are watching this, that means that a majority of people voted yes to an Ultimate Team series being shown on this channel. As you can see here, we get started in a game against um, somebody in online seasons as we start off in Division 10. I did not have the footage from the first two games in this division, but this is the first game that I have recorded. That is because it has been a while since I started recording this, because unlike the other two series I tried to start on this channel, I actually have quite a lot of um, clips already recorded. So there should be enough of this series to go already. So as you can see here, we're getting into the first game in the second half. Liam Smith of Newcastle United going through on goal and scoring. You may have noticed a lot of the players um, my opponent is playing is in Newcastle, do play for Newcastle. And actually his entire squad is Newcastle. So he is clearly a Newcastle United fan. I'm using my starter players, so I had to use a couple Newcastle players because I got them at the start and I'm only using them for chemistry reasons and as you can see one of the Newcastle players actually scored against the Newcastle fan so that's pretty good to see and as you can see here about an hour gone in this game and um, I just want to say we drew the first two games of the division because the teams we were using was very poor but as you can see here we go through Klaassen a silver central attacking midfielder from the Russian league I believe he's Swedish he makes it 2-0 here with a good finish to make it 2-0 to us so a full championship side for him with a hundred chemistry a few goals in there as well losing 2-0 to my side with I think one goal in possibly two actually because I no, actually, possibly more, sorry. But I do know that at least three of them are gold now that I think about it. And then you can see here Klaassen once again goes through after making the tackle. He hits the post and one of the silvers right there is Diaby who makes it 3-0. Really good attacking play from our attacking midfielder there. Obviously you can see Perisic is in there. Another player I forgot is a gold. And um, Perisic we got in the starter squad as well. Obviously we're playing a couple right backs in the team as well for the championship link because we got quite a few champ players it, by doing like bronze upgrades and stuff like that which we missed because of how many clips I've recorded since I recorded this so as you can see here Perisic went through cut onto his left foot and finessed it past the goalkeeper so really good finish from Perisic a player I would like to use in the future but I'm not too sure about he has no links with anyone at the minute but hopefully we will get some at Syria players in the future as you can see here the game is coming towards a close here Perisic gives it into Klaassen um, he gives it to um, one of our other players who goes through on goal. He has a strike and it makes it 3 0. So, f I mean, sorry, 5 0. Really good game for us in the first game shown and a really good game for us. So, just to explain something about this series, it will be basically a um, game where I'll be playing to try and get eventually, hopefully, to Division 1. Um, possibly play some foot champions on here but I'm not too sure I'm not too good at the game especially online and using these players as well will be quite hard because I'm not just doing a simple road to glory where you go out and um, buy players all the time see that's the team there that I was using as we get 800 coins because of a coin boost that I have on but in this series I will be opening a bronze pack after every match at any time we have over 5,000 coins after the bronze pack has been opened, which will be opened here, we will open a gold pack. After each season, we will look at the um, coin reward we get at the end of the season. We will then use that coin reward um, to buy any players off the market. Not the whole coin reward, we are allowed to use half of what we get as a coin reward and then the rest of the coins has to just stay in the balance. So as you can see here we got a kit from the um, bronze pack that I quite like the Dynamo Dresden kit so I'm gonna put that on as my home kit. As you could see there the away kit was um, Montreal Impact of the MLS and yeah so that was the bronze pack we got a few players and um, a couple of them are going to be used soon but as you can see here doing one of the squad builder challenges one defensive nation just part of the um one of the basic squad builder challenges just using the german players here that i have in my club i actually used a german um team when i first did it um, them first two games but it was pretty poor the strikers had no pace and the most of the squad was pretty poor it was German and Dutch hybrid really it didn't have much chemistry anyway and really um, I had a left-footed center back at right mid at one point 
that was what I had to do for chemistry. So here's the first um, squad build challenge complete. We got a player there, a right wing back, um, rare bronze from Osasuna. If that pack had been tradable, I think he would have gone for quite a bit, because apparently, I'm not too sure because I haven't tried to do the Suarez SBC, but I have heard that um, players from Osasuna go for quite a bit, so hope it's bad that he's untradable, but he may come in handy eventually, but I'm not too sure about using him yet. There's another squad builder challenge completed there. Um, uh, just a bronze upgrade there to get a two-player silver pack. Obviously, one of them rare, and one of them non-rare, and he will will be opening it up right now for you. So the two silver players we get in there: a goalkeeper from South Korea and Galano, a center attacking midfielder from Serie B, who looks pretty good, 90 pace, and should be a decent player for us if we can get him into the team. So another team being traded in for the two leagues, two nations, and two of the Newcastle players are leaving as like, as of now, so you've only seen them play one game. Liam Smith did score for us, but I'm happy to get rid of them and get a pack in return. So a premium bronze players pack is what we will get in in return for those um, players that we did trade in. We do get a silver player in there and three rare bronzes, so some players could come in handy there. A couple of Russians could get chemistry links there. And as you can see here, we're trading the final one to um, finish that group as it's that multi-league squad. As you can see, all three completed, so we do get a premium loan player reward pack as well as the silver pack we got for doing the singular um, squad builder challenge. So like I say, just going to be opening bronze packs after every game. If we get 5,000 coins at any point, we will be buying a gold pack. <laughs> just whenever I can sell players whenever I want just to get the coins towards the gold pack and basically at the end of every online division I will be using half of the coins we get as a reward to buy whatever players off the market I choose so that is the only time I get to buy players off the market I do believe but I am um, and as you can see here Mario Gomez is the player we get in the um, lone player pack I do have and Blaszkowski in the squad so he will be going with him to make a link there as you can see here sold a couple things on the market just to make a few coins as you can see the coin balance is about 3k at the minute all these bronze contracts did not sell I relisted them for now but as you may see in a second well just now actually only two things sold from the things that I relisted. So as you can see here, it was just a fitness and Feguino, one of the pl the player that did make it 5-0. So I'm just sending all of these to the um, consumables. Here's just a quick showing and I will not show everything. So we're going to end this episode with one last bronze pack being opened. I'm not sure why I did that, but I did it. I recorded it, so I thought I might as well show you. As you can see, the record 6-2 for wins and bras, no defeats so far. But if you enjoyed this first episode, please do leave a like. If you want to see any more of this um, series or any of my career, Sunderland career mode, please do subscribe as that would be much appreciated. But anyway, once again, I just want to say thank you for watching. See you later.